Years ago, I watched an applied science video about digital light projectors. This video is the go-to for learning how digital mirror devices, or DMDs, work. The basic idea is that a display can be formed with a grid of very small mirrors. Each mirror corresponds to a pixel in an image. By flicking the mirror on and off, you can control the brightness of that pixel. There's a moment in the applied science video that describes building a macro scale version of a DMD using solenoids. That moment always stuck with me and I finally got around to building up a prototype. This concept of flipping a grid of objects on and off is also seen in the artwork of Daniel Rosen. He builds mechanical mirrors based on the same concept. It's really cool. Links to both these works are in the description. DMDs usually consist of several hundred thousand mirrors. The device I built has only 25 mirrors. If I were to scale up my device to have the same number of mirrors that are in a typical DMD, it would roughly be the size of four bowling lanes. Imagine placing a grid of mirrors this size to fill those lanes. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm just trying to feel what it's like. Okay, what's that? To build a DMD. To build up this device of flipping mirrors, I needed to find the right solenoid. I started by spinning my own solenoids, like in the applied science video, but the variation was too significant to build up the system. So I turned to the world of eBay and found miniature push-pull solenoids. Instead of just flipping the mirror with a magnetic force, I could physically connect the mirror to the solenoid. Much simpler to implement. Once I got the solenoids, I started the early prototypes. It was key to figure out this mechanism for one mirror. I wish I had more photos to show the slow process of getting this to work, but once I convinced myself this was stable enough, I designed the full grid of mirrors, 3D printed everything, and started the assembly. Each mirror is attached to the solenoid with a mount. I sanded down toothpicks as a rod to connect the parts. The solenoids are then mounted to form a row of the device. Each then locks into place with some hooks on the mount. And there we have the grid of mirrors connected to solenoids. The circuit itself is pretty straightforward, but the current draw of each solenoid is terrible. I'm sure there's a better design to improve the power consumption. For what I needed, the schematic was good enough. Building a prototype with this many connections was just too much to bear, so I decided to build a PCB. I wanted to design an Arduino shield for my macro scale mirror device. When the PCBs arrived, I was horrified, of course. Would it work? I soldered all the components, plugged in the mammoth power supply, and it did work. I saw mirrors flipping and the code working until I saw some smoke. Uh, when I checked under the board, I saw some fried traces. I learned that it turns out that trace thickness should be given proper attention, especially when drawing this amount of current. I soldered some lower gauge wire and the board has now been working with no major issues. Now it's time to watch some flipping mirrors. I added a potentiometer to control the speed of the device too. More sensors could be connected to the board to make the display more interactive. I also tried reflecting the light off the device, like in a digital light projector. Sadly, the mirror angle error is pretty bad. I need to use a large lens or concave mirror to image the sensor so this isn't such an issue. Still, the light display is pretty cool. That wraps up a quick summary of this device. Full instructions and files can be found on Instructables. Thanks for watching.